Hey guys, Rindon here with Let's Do Crypto. In this video, I want to show you how you can use your webcam to scan in QR codes, either like a private key or public key or any QR code really, and then it will display that information uh, in your terminal on your computer. You can copy that and paste it in like a blockchain explorer or send to that address or import that private key. So yeah, I was having this problem um, earlier this week and so I was looking up some ways to do it and I found this uh, open source software called ZBar. And so if you type in ZBar, it's a ZBar barcode reader and we can download it. And so you want to download the version that's um, applicable for you. And so I'm going to do the Windows installer, but it's also available on Linux. Um, is it available on Mac? It may not be available on Mac, but they do have, looks like they have some code for iPhone, which is cool. If you want to like develop an app for doing that, that's kind of neat. Anyway, so let's do the Windows one. And uh, yeah, I might not be available on Mac, so I apologize about that if that's the case. Uh, go ahead and download this. And then your downloads, if you're using Firefox like me, will be in the top right-hand corner. So I'm going to install. Uh, it's actually a very, very small application. It shouldn't take long to install. And it's free. I mean, it's open source. It's free. You don't have to pay for it or anything. It's just a community project. Uh, here we go. So i get some information about it. So once it's installed, uh, I can just find it here by clicking by clicking the bottom left and typing in ZBar, and it's ZBar Cam. Oh, you know what? This might conflict with my video right now. Uh, let me see if it will. Yeah, it's because it needs to use my webcam, so I apologize about that. I might see um, it's not going to be able to do the camera. So hold on, let me pause the video real quick. Okay, I'm back. So I'm running the ZBar software now. This is what it looked like for you. I just had a conflict because I only have the one webcam, and so it was trying to use use it twice. So now I've got, but this is actually this window now in the bottom right hand corner is part of the ZBar application. So it'll show you this camera. The camera's sitting right in front of me, and um, so I've got these QR codes, and then we have this uh, box over here, this terminal that will display. So I'm going to get this public key for this QR code. All right, there it is. So I put a little green box around it. Um, I had to get in focus a little bit, and then it has a QR code. And then this was, um, oh, it's letting me do it here, but it was causing me trouble. And so uh, if it won't let you select, there is a, there's a, if you go to properties, is that what it is? Yeah, if you go to properties, there's some, some of these boxes weren't checked on my other computer I was doing this on. And so you need to just make sure you, I guess, check all these boxes or something. But uh, if you can't, highlight it and copy it. But so we'll do that. Oh, and to copy it, you just right click once and it copies it. So now it's copied to my clipboard. So now if I go to notepad here and I can paste that, control V, so we've got it. So now let me just scan in a private key. I'm pretty sure there's no balance on here. So, and all I have to do, the, the application is running. So I'll just do the private key right here. There it goes, took a second to get in focus. So there's the public and private key associated with that paper wallet. And I can highlight this, right click, and now I've got the private key. So, and then right click and go paste. So there you have it. Um, pretty cool, I think. And so, and what I would do, like, I'll show another video on how to, on, on actually how to get the information from a private key to, to get your address, but you can just take and, uh, you know, take that and go to like a blockchain explorer and see if there's a balance on it. You can send a balance to it. Or if you're importing a private key, you can use that private key to import. But yeah, that's it. That's the video for today. So I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching.